Hey guys, um, just before I start the review, uh, just remember, go to the GoFundMe below, donate $5 or more, and then email me, uh, follow the below instructions, uh, and you'll enter the contest to win the LT Right Patriot uh, knife and the Buck Compadre knife. Um, more, in more info on the previous video, there is still a high chance of you winning that knife if you enter now. Um, good chances, good odds. So for a hundred and thirty to fifty dollar knife plus the buck, um, I'd I'd very much suggest you're not going to be one in twenty even right now. You'll be one in about ten. So uh, give it a crack. I, I would give it a crack myself if I was you. So it's just something to think about. Let's get on with the review. Ta. Hey gang, in the spirit of today's awesome high value items, following on from the Kaiser V3 Vigo review, this is the Sharpie pen. I've been looking for a new pen that I don't really mind. If I lose, I still don't want to lose it. I'm not going to actively throw it down a well or anything, but this is a $20 pen, Australian dollars pen. Free shipping from a mob in the UK, uh, which has Replaceable cartridges, so it does feel a bit more like a special pen. So it's the replaceable Sharpie ink cartridge. It's adequate for hard use, because it's made out of stainless steel. And it has some of the best ink that I've used so far in a pen. I'm not a really big pen ink type fan, but this stuff is really, really nice. Because it's like a felt tip pen, it's um, kind of got that really consistent flow. It's like a tiny little Sharpie, I guess. It's not Sharpie ink like ultra permanent Sharpie ink though. It doesn't mark as crazy easily on everything. It'll still write better than most other inks on most other surfaces though, due to it being a felt tip pen. So the Sharpie pen is really, really light. It's um, fairly long. It's probably about getting towards 13 centimeters or so long with the lid on. It does just have a pop-off cap, which may affect you if you're thinking of using it for, you know, proper hard use, like where you might prefer like a screw on embassy pen type cap. Pop-on cap's fine with me. It's all stainless steel, so everything's just a little bit stronger than your standard plastic pen. This isn't a tactical pen. I mean, I guess you could poke someone with that end, but to what for what purpose, I don't know. The only problem I can probably see is the very generic clip there. Kind of good for shirt pockets only rather than pants pockets. But I'm keeping it in my pants pocket and it's not too painful to use. When I slide it into my pocket, sometimes I just need to give it a bit of a pinch so it finds the seam. That's about it. $20, a pen that just writes so nicely, is definitely a boon in my opinion. Let's get this camera focused. So, I'm writing upside down, so let's, oh hey. This. <laughs> it's a fun activity, I'm trying to write upside down. This pen, pen. Good. Duh. Hodor. There you go. Um, but as you can see, the ink is just nice and solid and consistent. And the fact you can refill it, so you know, for a small price rather than replacing the entire pen again, I think is a real winner. For someone who loses pens, I think this is probably one of the better choices going this Sharpie pen. 
You can get these in plastic, but I just think it's a little bit more special when it's made in steel. That would be about all I have to say on the Sharpie pen, guys. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.